Hello ladies and gents and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode of Cycling Insider I want to talk about the 2019 bikes from Merida. Specifically this time is going to be the 2019 Merida Scultura Disc 7000E. First of all Merida is a Taiwanese bike brand they are one of the biggest bike manufacturers in the world and you can see Merida's bikes being ridden in the Grand Tours uh, this year and the next year also so they have a, a very long and established heritage so you shouldn't be afraid of checking out Merida bikes uh, I've tried to dig up a little bit about the warranty on Merida bikes but it doesn't say explicitly on their website it basically says that you should contact your local dealers and they, and they will explain what are the warranty uh, procedures in your uh, country. So this is a bit, I would say, uh, disappointing because I would expect them to be pretty open and say it on their website uh, what's the warranty for uh, their bikes. But uh, without further ado, let's talk about the 2019 Merida Scultura Disc 7000E. Uh, when I check on their website, first of all, I'm checking the color scheme. So we have a color scheme which is black with uh, kind of blue purple, uh, with a bit of gray of Merida uh, sign on the down tube. I can't say it's anything special considering the frame design, the colors. It's a pretty kind of classic, understated looks. Current price of 2019 Scultura Disc 7000E, uh, I'm looking at the UK website, is 3,250 British pounds, uh, which at the current exchange rate for all of you across the pond in USA is about 4,200 US dollars. And I consider this price a very good price. Uh, considering what kind of equipment this bike offers. So let's dive in and let's see what's the equipment on 2019 Scultura Disc 7000E. So first of all we have a frame and fork which is Merida's carbon fiber frame and fork. Uh, they don't say a lot on the website, uh, a bit more details about the frame and fork or the weight so I can't comment on that but I can tell you that the overall bike weight is 8.31 kilograms I'm guessing this is size medium uh, or they call it medium large size 54 so it's not an impressively low bike weight but again it's decent enough and I believe that with swapping maybe the wheels and few components you can really get it down to way below 8 kilograms by the way, Scultura range from Merida is their uh, racing lightweight uh, bikes, climbing bikes. They have another range which is more aero and endurance. So Scultura is for the long days in the saddle in the mountains. So as I said, frame and fork, carbon fiber frame and fork from Merida. We have the shifters front mech and rear mech is Shimano Zultegra Di2 electronic group set which is absolutely brilliant group set 11 speed group set we have the brake system from shimano ultegra hydraulic disc brakes uh, i'm just checking they are not mentioning here what's the size of the rotors i am honestly hoping it 160 millimeter rotors not the 140 ones how they say the cheap option which is cutting corners in my opinion so i can't comment on that now moving on to the uh, chain wheel as they call it the crank set it's basically fsa energy 5236 teeth uh, fsa is a famous uh, producer of chain rings and chain sets so you shouldn't be worried about that uh, sometimes fsa chain rings can be even and the whole uh, uh, chain wheel can be lighter than the shimano's group set it would be nice that they included here shimano ultegra uh, cranks and chain sets but it's fsa this time chain comes from KMC, it's the KMC's 11 speed chain X11. Uh, I have no special complaints about the KMC chains, they make uh, very good chains. Hubs, this time are uh, 12 millimeters uh, axles uh, both front and back. 
Uh, they don't say who is the manufacturer, but they mentioned that the rims are DT Swiss P1000 spline, uh, 80 millimeters inner width and 23 millimeters height, the center lock hubs. So I hope the whole wheel set is a DT Swiss uh, uh, P1000, I believe it is, and I believe the hubs are also DT Swiss hubs. As I see quickly on the through axles, I believe this is a DT Swiss wheel system, so which is absolutely perfect. DT Swiss produces one of the best wheel sets on market, so you have a through axles of DT Swiss and the hubs of DT Swiss. Uh, looking on at the <clears throat> at the cassette is the Shimano's uh, CSR 7000 cassette, uh, 1130 uh, teeth, 11 speed cassette. It is a climber's cassette, 1130. It would be nice that they included 1132 or 1134 even, but again, this is an easily replaceable part if you need it uh, to be more kind of climbing oriented cassette. Tires are Continental Grand Sport Race, uh, 25C tires. Again, in my opinion, Continental is still the benchmark with uh, bicycle tires, so this is a nice addition to the bike. Uh, uh, handlebars and handlebar stem is the Merida's own uh, product, aluminium, nothing special here to add. A seat post is the Merida's uh, carbon fiber seat post, 27.2 uh, millimeters in diameter and I really appreciate when bike manufacturers are lately including this carbon seat post because it's definitely gonna soak up a lot of uh, road bumps. As I said, weight is 8.31 kilograms, uh, nothing special here and the saddle I forgot to mention is from Prologo Nago Evo. Uh, saddles are a personal preference so this is something that's easily replaceable if you don't like it. So all in all, just to make a conclusion, we have a 2019 Merida Scultura Disc 7000E with the current price of 3,250 British pounds or about 4,200 US dollars. So it's a very competitive price, I have to say, because just to summarize, we have a carbon fiber frame and fork. We have a full Shimano Ultegra uh, group set. So we have the front mech, rear mech shifters. Uh, then we have the brakes, which are Shimano Ultegra hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, I honestly hope it's 160 millimeter rotors. They didn't mention it. The chain set uh, and the cranks are FSA. So it's not a Shimano Ultegra, but FSA makes perfectly fine crank sets. And the cassette. We got the uh, Shimano's, it's a, it's a CS, Shimano a CSR 7000. I hope it's an Ultegra range cassette. Uh, I hope they didn't cut corners here. Chain is from KMC. And we have a DT Swiss P1000 wheel set. So for 3,250 pounds, I think it's a very competitive price. Definitely on the, on the kind of levels of Canyon. Uh, but I still believe that Canyon has stepped up this season with their equipment, so Merida is just a little bit below considering the equipment. So I think this is gonna be it uh, for today. I hope you like what I'm doing. Uh, if you do, please do subscribe. I will be making more of these buyer's guide videos. And as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Pura Vida!